one's up. Flex of the day. And my forearms have been feeling a lot more tight. That could be because I've been losing more weight. So there's like less padding, if you will. Or, well, yeah, or because they're always pumped up now because I do the dead hangs every day. Or three, because uh, they're just getting stronger. Let's say I'm feeling great, but I'm uh, I'm not. Let me push it on. There's another fly in my room, so we'll see if I have to assault him. But yeah, so I got four hours of sleep last night. It was only supposed to be three. Really? But I don't feel that bad. It's like, uh, I can feel it subconsciously. And then I'm tired, but it's not like a behind the eyes kind of tired, so it's not that bad. I just stayed up doing some some more writing because I said I would write ten pages, so um, not in that night, but in a week I would because I I knew I didn't know if I'd be able to get it done, so I I did. I was like, why not? Main I mainly did that to see what would happen if I pushed the boundaries of my sleep. I've been getting really good sleep recently. There's never been a time when I get, when I've been getting bad sleep, besides like maybe freshman year, see, uh, sophomore year. Um, but yeah, I became a big heavy sleeper. Really? Yeah. What? She can go the other way. Stupid question. She knows where to go. Don't open the door. And then she's gonna get mad at me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's lucky I didn't do open palm, I would've gotten him. Then she starts talking to her, to, to my dog. No, she can go the other way. You can hear this fly buzzing. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I was just testing to see... Um, how it feels, I guess. You know, because... I keep referencing David Goggins. You know, like, he does all these things. Um, for the sake of overpowering his mental weakness, right? So people are comfortable sleeping a certain amount. But how would I do and would I be able to function and can I get myself to? Um, I guess I was figuring out. Uh, and I definitely could if I need to, but I'm a health guy. You know, I want my health to stay good. 
But there's one thing I will do. If I say it, it needs to get done, you know? Earlier, I was, I, I left the test or a quiz because I'm, you're stupid. Now. Um, I left a quiz for me to do when I got home. And I was like, I'm going to do it. And then I, I got out of work and I hadn't thought about it. So, and then I thought about it while I was in the car. He really wants to die. But, um, as a byproduct of my, um, tiredness, I'm also a bit visually impaired. Like, I, it's like... I have a slower frame rate or something, you know? Uh, but yeah. Testing to see what I can do. Yeah, so four hours of sleep. So be it, and I'm gonna stay up a little bit later tonight, probably. Because again, when I say things, I need to get done. So I'm gonna do the quiz, I'm gonna do some other thing on my to-do list, um, stretch a little bit, you know, because while things can wait, I've always been a person who doesn't want to wait till tomorrow to do something. Um, this isn't really related because it's something I don't want to do anyways, but Try me I start using my left hand Well, no, I don't I'm just saying I want to throw with my right Because my right's the only thing I know how to throw, really gonna do some things tonight don't plan on abusing myself but it needs to get done and I need to know that when I say things that they need to be meant so yeah one thing I'm grateful for is sleep you know like Going to bed, we'll say going to bed, because I might have said sleep before. Even though I've been sleeping on the floor, um, I wake up and my neck is, like, in bad shape. It's, like, really sore and achy. But, you know, right now my neck feels fine. I don't know if that's something I'll get used to. I think so. It's a big fly, too. I think I'll get used to it. Is it the best for neck? Probably not, but it's uncomfortable, so I want to do it at the same time. I asked my physical therapist about it. I was like, should I use a pillow? Because when I told him I started laying on the floor, he told me to put a pillow under my legs because something about your back posture. So, you know, if, if it's better for me, then I'll do it. So I was like, do I need a pillow, basically? said no nah, not really so uh yeah today's been a day same kind of losers at work just that one lazy guy smokes keeps I, I i smelled a ton of weed today not weed but um the carts you know, like the vape weed things. Um, it's really lame. It's really sad. But it's not my life. But it's just like, whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna start going to church. And I said that like a few months ago, like I wanna start getting into that. But I always felt not even too busy but it was like waking up that early because uh the church closest to me does one at seven and does one at 11 a.m 
So seven, I didn't even wait. That's that's when I wake up now. You know, I wasn't even awake back then at seven. And then eleven, it's just kind of a weird time. So I didn't. But I will, and and I know I will. So we will have to wait the whole week. And I've never really been, I've been to church when I was younger, but I wasn't old enough to understand it really. I didn't really know what the point of church was. So, and, and I don't really remember any of what you do, but I, I remember eating a cracker and eating wine, uh, drinking wine, a little bit of wine. It's like the body of Christ and the, the blood of Christ. I don't know if that's what they called it. I know it's supposed to represent blood, but it's probably that. Um, yeah. Should go because it's good for me. Did I miss? Yes, I'm resorting to weaponry. Canvas. But I don't know what to do, so I don't know if I just like walk in. I'm probably gonna have to look up a tutorial on how to go to church. You know, it sounds stupid, but like, if you've never done something like that, or at least you don't remember it, and now you'd be going alone, it's. I don't wanna look stupid. It's like at an airport. I wanna know what to expect if I'm gonna go through that whole process or if I've never been through it before. Yeah, sleep's important, but like four hours of sleep, it really ain't that bad. I'm just, a, I know I'm a bit less mentally acute is how I would put it, a little bit less. Like, last night when I was up, so, I went, yeah, I went to bed around 4 a.m. I was like, I wonder if the trade-off is worth it. Because a ton of these mental activities that I'd be doing if I stay up require um, efficiency. At least efficiency would be better. If I'm trying to write, um, which, yeah, the writing didn't go very well. The, the ideas in my head were fine, but the execution wasn't very well. So I was like, okay, I'll just write it. I'll write the gist, you know. So like how I should be drafting it, but I haven't been doing it that way. Yeah, it was just harder to, to compose good I um, good sentences in my head. But I was still able to continue with the story how it goes where it goes i guess um at the moment i don't know what the point of the story is you know i'm just going in a certain direction with it but i have no idea how the story ends i don't know what happens in it but at the same time i kind of like that i like that the story doesn't have an ending but i kind of wish i had a solid starting point i just jumped in i just started writing i didn't know if I'd even continue writing um, after the first time I sat down with it. Um, I have been, so. so I didn't start off very well. I wasn't like, okay, here's him and he's gonna do this and because this and here's the theme of the story. I've just been developing him as a character I introduced somebody else. There is a plot line. But I don't know where it goes. And I don't know if the world I've been trying to describe should be that central to the plot. I've been trying to establish a unique setting. I'm staying vague just cause, speaking generally. Um, I tried to establish a unique uh, setting 
that I think works well. Not necessarily works well, but one that I can be like, one that ties together. You know, it's it's not like exactly modern, but it's um, it's consistent. You know, not that modern isn't consistent. Just a modern setting, or not a consistent setting. You know, so if it's dark and gloomy and there's clouds and trees with dead leaves everywhere, then you know I hope I can keep it in that tone, or there should be a good reason if it isn't. For example and having it be a more key role in the, in the, in the text, you know. Yeah, mental acuity is subpar. Like, I could definitely do this again. I could sleep another four hours and be fine tomorrow. Again, I just don't know if it's really worth it, so I'm probably not gonna do it much. At least not to that extent. Like staying up a little bit longer, sure, but um, until four probably won't be necessary for anything. Guess that was my day. didn't run the whole way this morning, I ran a mile this morning, just to do something, um, cause yeah, my legs still felt a bit injured, but they were better, towards the end of the mile I started feeling it again though, but I showed a bit of weakness this morning, I guess I'll end with this, I showed a bit of weakness this morning, cause quitting when things get tough is something I've been trying not to do. When I do my, when I do dead hangs, when I'm planking, planking's different because planking never ends, right? Like th theoretically, same with running, you know. But getting to that point of discomfort and staying in it until you think the job is done is, you know, what I've been trying to do. So you know, but consistently running 1.9 miles, right? But I was like, came to a crossroads, you know, so I ran the route a bit differently. It started differently, which is why I did what I did. Because it wouldn't have been the same route. It would have been longer than that. I was like, I can go this way. I, I thought beforehand, if I feel good enough to, to, you know, keep running, then I'll go, the, you know, then I'll continue down the path that I normally go. If not, then I'll finish where I was running, you know, to spare my legs. And I got to the crossroads, which, you know, I'm glad I didn't, I guess. Not that it would have been the end of the world, but um, I did start to feel that leg pain a little bit later after I made the decision. But I, I was like, I could, because again, I felt kind of fine. But I didn't, I copped out and um, I opted for the easy road. Easy not necessarily bad, but like I said, if, and I still went for the other one just cause it, it had been in my mind that I wanted to do the other one. Um, again, mainly because I just started running that way in the first place. But still, I didn't feel great about it. But it didn't, it didn't ruin my whole day. It wasn't that big of a thing. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, get some stuff done, and then go to bed. So, peace.